Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 30th of August 2019 and the time has just gone 11.40 British summer time. And this week's Chart of the Week is silver. Uh, if you take a look at the price action uh, in recent months, we can see that the metal has been in a solid upper trend, a nice series of higher, of higher highs um, and higher lows. It's a classic def definition of an upper trend. You could even argue the case that the rate at which has been pushing higher since mid July has actually been quite steady, quite steady, and and um, we may even see not so much a turnaround in the overall direction, but we might see a decline, a decline in the rate at which is increasing. So a more kind of um, a more slanted upward slope rather than the kind of aggressive, almost kind of you know kind of 60 degree angle type movement we've seen here in recent weeks and recent months. Now, part of the reason why silver is has been in such popular demand recently uh, is because of the uncertainty in relation to China slowing down the U.S. China trade trade situation, China U.S. China trade situation, um, the uncertainty possibility of a no deal Brexit, political uncertainty in Italy. Uh, some of these factors are still ongoing, although things are looking a bit more optimistic in Italy. Uh, things in relation to the U.S.-China trade situation, for the time being, have simmered a little. But all these issues are you know, going on in the background. These have all kind of prompted traders to plow money into assets that are deemed to be safe havens, such as precious metals like silver. Uh, the Japanese yen has benefited, um, as has government bonds around the world. Uh, Dow theory tells us that the averages uh, must confirm each other. So if you can see a move, a sharp move to the to the upside in silver, you most likely have seen one in gold as well. So if you take a look at what's been going on in the gold market in recent uh, weeks and months, this is here on gold on a weekly chart. Gold uh, in recent weeks and months has, has gone on to hit a level not seen since early 2013. So we're talking like levels are six year highs in gold. The levels that we've seen recently in silver have been uh, levels that seen in over two years. So the gold market is pushing higher, the silver market is pushing higher. We can be more confident that the rally is going to continue in precious metals. Although there are obviously no guarantees, but it makes if um, if, if silver is hit a, in a two-year high and gold is in a six-year high, we can be more confident that the kind of bullish trend in silver is going to continue. And if you do manage to kind of press on beyond here. Uh, we're, we're currently in around 14, sorry, 18 spot 40 on the silver market. If we do continue to kind of press on on from here, and we do manage to take off this level here uh, in April 2017 at 18 spot 65, if you manage to go beyond that, we could be looking heading up towards the psychologically important 20 bucks um, mark. Now, if you do see a move to the downside in silver, we may see fresh buyers enter the fold. It's been in a solid upward trend for a recent number of months, and buying on the dip has been a popular strategy. So even if we do manage to kind of taper off in the near term, we could have find some support in around this area here, just uh, in around the kind of north of $18. Uh, drop below that, we could find some support coming from these regions here in around 17 spot 70 or 17 spot 35, or indeed maybe even 17 itself. But the, you know, the wider upper trend is still very much, very much in play. It's only really if you're going to drop back below this blue line here, the 50 moving average, which comes to play in a 16 spot 35. It's only really if you have a size of break below that, could then we would might begin to think, you know what? The, you know you know what maybe the kind of recent upward trend that we've seen is coming to an end but on, until we see a, 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 until we see a move below that the, uh, the the wider upward trend is likely to continue uh, if you are trading the silver market please keep an eye out for um, <clears throat> the US core PC um, reading which comes out today at 1330 British summer time it gives an indication of uh, underlying a true demand in the United States which in turn can impact uh, the Fed's decision in, re in relation to interest rates uh, next month there's a lot of chatter at, uh, in, in the markets that the, the Fed are going to lower rates should that be the case that will be likely to soften the US dollar and assist the silver market but if um, we do see economic indicators of the US in the between now and then that are actually quite strong, that could suggest the Fed might uh, hold fire in terms of cutting interest rates. That could firm up the US dollar and in turn potentially uh, have a slightly negative impact on the silver market because silver uh, is traded in US dollars. Uh, that's all for me this week. Uh, if you have any comments to make in this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave review on reviews. Thank you very much.